Hello, and welcome to the new Bureau of Professional Development and Training webpage. This page was designed in SharePoint to be very user friendly, to provide more access, and to be very interactive for us to complete the task of training and developing the staff here at the Florida Department of Corrections. As you can see, the site was designed similar to the way our previous web page was set up. Of course, you have the announcements right up front. Uh, this is one way the announcements look. You will click on the link. You see here is the curriculum alert about the FDLE curriculum advisories that we had on the previous site. Down below, of course, we, you had, we have information about our bureau, what we do, our goals, and who we are here to service. Of course, our field officer training program. Down below, you have the links that you are used to having uh, a lot of them were on the either on the right or on the left side of the previous web page but of course you have e-train so that you can actually complete all of your required and elective courses next you have access to ATMS for those who are working with ATMS and need to log in to that site uh, just click on the link and it will take you to that site may take a little bit of time but you have access to our automate, the automated FDLE automated training management site system as usual next you have access to staff development procedures so when you have questions or concerns you need to look up something for new staff that need to look up how we do what we do you have access to the staff development procedures you also have access to the DMS training questionnaire for ACA training documentation. Um, again, if you have forms such as training the training credit request, the DC-2937, uh, when you want to get credit for classes you've taken outside of E-Train, uh, you, you have access to the link to get to those forms. Next, you have access to our e-training reports and e-training report descriptions, just like you had on the other site. It takes you here, so if you need to pull a report of an employee, all the training they've had um, since they've been here or whatnot, you have that right there. This one is very important, lesson plans. Our lesson plan queue is right here. I will stop for a moment to tell you that we will be eventually updating this. We'll be creating what is we're going to call a lesson plan library, so you'll be able to access this without going to a link it'll be uh, a page right there within the SharePoint site so you can access all the trainings the mandatory in-service NEO firearm special teams training Florida basic recruit training program and the electives and other courses will be right inside the SharePoint site you also have access to the technical manuals, technical assistance notes, handbooks, and guidelines for staff development operations. We will eventually, over time, be upgrading this as well. Um, but this is a project that is in process. Right now, we're rolling out the first phase. We want to help you get familiar with the site and to see what is coming down the road. We also have a link to the DC web to take you back to the FDC homepage. Uh, so you can get back to what you normally do okay now going back in a few other things I want to share with you about this site uh, you have to contact us so if you need to reach any but any of us here up at home office you have all of that information all of our phone numbers contact information right here you also have information about our management team of course we are under the the leadership of bureau chief mr robert chris hendry we also have assistant bureau chief mr jeff mortham who handles our field operations and special teams and of course assistant bureau chief mr nicole taylor who is over our learning and performance and she's the training center director for school 66. additionally we have our curriculum and planning and evaluation team uh, that is led by uh, mr oscar pass so uh, and you have us the research and training specialists who help to make changes to training help with e train issues that type of thing you also have the trust fund team again who is led by mr oscar pass hold on you have Martha evans uh who many of you know and, and have interacted with 
Uh, and then you have, of course, Miss Sarah Sackett and Miss Alexandra Cook, Alex, as we love to call her. All right. Next, you have our special projects and quality assurance team, uh, Miss Erica Roberts, as well as Mr. Jacob Anderson, who are part of that team, uh, who handle special projects. And you'll see some of those special projects coming out more and more as this fiscal year goes on. You also have the uh, regional training managers and field operations staff and special team staff. Uh, our regional training managers, Mr. Mike White, Mr. Rose Odom, Mr. Richard Vitelli, and Mr. Roger Barley, who do a phenomenal job out in the field in our regions. We also have Mr. Gabe Simpson, uh, who is our field uh, over the field op officer program, as well as Mr. Johnny Slay, who handles our special teams training. And we have to add, we're going to make an update to this, but we also have uh, their supervisor, Mr. Paul Kazanis, who, who kind of leads them up with the field training officer and special teams program. You have the business and professional development org chart. Um, this will be being revised. We've made some changes. We had a couple of people retire, so we're going to be updating this in the near future, but this is where you will locate that. We also had on the previous website, we had a CPR page that took you to CPR training uh, information about that. That is right here as well. And one of the biggest things that you all are uh, probably looking for is the master training plan. Well, that link is right here. When you click on it, it takes you to the page. You have all the past master training plans as well as the master training plan for this current fiscal year so you know what trainings are required for staff to take and what those who need to take electives, you know what those trainings are as well. So here you have that master training plan as you always did on the previous site. And last but not least, we also had, we sent out a newsletter from via email called the In the Know. This is an old version of that newsletter back from January, but you can see here it's a lot more user friendly. It's easier to read. You can actually launch videos. This is a video from the from the December 2017 RRT competition, um, but. It's a lot of robust. We, we want to honor you through this newsletter and get this out to uh, let people know about those that are graduating from the academies and anything you have going on. But keep your best of news that are going going on with our bureau um, through this SharePoint site. So that is the new business and professional development and training website. You can begin to look at it get used to it, get familiar with it, because in the near future, we're going to be, again, we're going to be adding new things to make it more user-friendly, but this will be the future website and web page for the Bureau of Professional Development and Training. Listen, have a great day, and if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to us here at home office, and we'll be more than happy to answer any questions you may have.